So you see here we have a 2017 Cadillac XTS, which seems the issue what seems to be is the cluster was dim. So I'm trying to replace it so that it could have its proper functions working as they should. Well, I don't know, it's, it's a pretty nice car. It's pretty nice. I'm not really into American cars like that, but how do I get started here? Ready? Yeah. On this card here, the Cadillac 2017, we try to program the cluster. The old one, it say that the dark, right? Yeah. It doesn't come in. Now, we, we, we pay the subscription, we went online, it asked us, when it, when it try to communicate with the cluster, it doesn't communicate. We are not sure whether there is a problem with the card itself, or there is a different way only to do, maybe the cluster is already programmed and it just needs to be configured. Both of them, we cannot go to next step unless we have to call the tech support, which is AC Depot, to give us some hint. I'm going to give them the pin number, and then we take it from there. But we cannot just go and download the software and mess the system. So we're going to, I call the AC Depot hotline, then we're going to wait for All right. uh, Welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Uh, today we have 2017 Cadillac uh, XTS. We have a problem with the cluster here. This cluster module is not good. And they went to the dealer, they bought a brand new cluster. The dealer took the old one. But my advice is as soon as you buy it, you put it in, do not drive it. You gotta wait till you program it. Even here, suspension services. Also, it will it will give you a message like side detection system. It have a lot of uh, things that you need to fix them. But one of the most uh, problem when you open it the first time you're gonna see the message that will come I'm gonna turn the ignition off what is it? okay if you don't want to start the car and you try to turn the ignition it will not turn you have to push your hand and wait more than three seconds four seconds five okay seconds until you see checking your light come on here so we're gonna wait checking your light will come soon but if you want to start it you just push the brake it will start right away I put my hand here and I'm waiting yes you have to be uh, you know to, to to wait a little bit okay if it doesn't work, I'm going to come back again. Okay, I'm pushing it now. You see? Now you leave it. Sorry. In a few, it's supposed to work. The all cluster, they say that it's dim. We don't know why it's becoming dim, why it's not lighting up. But the all cluster, you can't see nothing. So now we need to, you see, program cluster. This is the first message. It says program cluster. It's clear, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay, now, in order for you to program this car, you have to have a subscription. Uh, to AC Delco website, you have to have a either a one day subscription or by VIN number. You go inside, you subscribe, you go, you choose one subscription, it costs like $40. Then you have to have a, a pass through. This is like J2435, J2534, or something equivalent. Uh, it doesn't matter to be, if you have MDI1 or MDI2, it's okay. If you don't have it, any proof that is approved, it will work. Uh, after you have the subscription by VIN number, that means if you want to do one car, it costs you like fifty dollar or forty something dollar. You're gonna use it for that car for about two years. You can program anything in this car, diagnosing it, but you cannot do any other car. With the, if you need a car uh, now, GM go by VINs. So you buy a token for one VIN number, two car, three car, and like that. A couple of years ago, or just a couple of years ago, you have a one day, three days, or two days subscription for fifty dollar. So they keep changing it, maybe uh, software and all this become not easy to get it or hard, so they maintain it. But anything you need to do in a car, you have to go by the number. Christ also adopt the same way. You need to do a car, you buy a subscription, you buy uh, about $60. And if you have a uh, uh, an original interface, if you need to use an original interface, that one costs about 1500 also a year subscription. So you oh. about, yeah. Christ, you talk about uh, $3,000 almost a year to use it uh, and on top of that you need to pay for each VIN number, $35. Uh, uh -uh. Yeah. So now let's go. Um, now I open the AC Delco here if you see it. I don't know if it's going to be far from me or not. They, they can see it. Okay. So we're going to see this one. I'm going on it. I'm going to click here. After you log into it. And the good about it is nobody can take over your um, your 
your subscription or your access to AC Bell. For example, if you log into it, anytime you log, you put your username and password, it will send you an authentication code to your cell phone. Uh -huh. you put that one, then it will open for you. So now the ignition is on. Um, Sometimes, if you need to program uh, those modules, you need to be sure that your charger is good, your battery is good. This is a small module, but if you are going to program, but in all cases, be sure that you have a good internet and you have a good uh, connection with the internet. Uh -huh. It prefer to have internet connected to your to your car, especially when the file is big. Uh, battery must be char battery charge must be on. If you do not have a battery charger, try to open the hood and put a battery charger. Why? Why? Because you don't want to get into trouble. Okay, I need a battery charger. It's, you know, like for, for programming only. I'm opening the hood. Be sure you have a good internet also. Put a charger there. They are put. They are preparing to put a charger in the front. Also, your laptop. Try to be sure that your laptop is is on uh, on uh, what they call. Your laptop also have a charger on it. Because if you don't do that, if your laptop dead on you while you're programming it, That's you're gonna lose the computer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna go to J2534 and replace and program ECU. We are going to see how many ECU this computer have, this car have. Because I see Mercedes Benz, we work on it this morning, it has 50 computers. Wait, you tell me that Mercedes Benz has five different computers? 55 zero. 50 for different systems within yeah. the car, so it's not yeah. just one for. No, one wow. for engine, one for the transmission, one for uh, Blue Moro. Even those, those modules, even the radio is computer. Steering column module here. That was your cluster computer. That was the GL. That was in the uh, on the the GL the yeah. ML. Oh, the ML. You see it here. I did it this morning. You have. I have a video on it. It has a a code in. There is no communication. There is no signal being sent to from the blue model from the climate control. Oh module. wow. Yeah. So now in this card here, we're gonna choose the year, which is uh, Cadillac. You know this 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 soft this application here. It's for all for all GM, Cadillac, and Chevy cars all over the world. Okay. But in some world, like like in some some countries, you cannot use this platform. You have to use the one that they give you to do it. In Europe, you have to use that maybe other platform. Oh yeah, because so this one is okay. 2017, right? 2017. Yes. And it is a small car, passenger car. You know this GM uh, Cadillac passenger car. They have ATS, ATS L. CTS 6, CTS S, EL, ELR, and XTS. This is XTS, right? Yeah. When you click on it and you leave it, you have to choose the interface that you want to use. I was using um, vehicle communication module or vehicle communication interface for Ford. Uh -huh. This is uh, IDS2, but it have a J universal. You can use it to program Toyota, uh, all, almost all cars. Now I have the VIN number. The car, the machine, pull the VIN number for me. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. It is two G six ending with eleven forty six. Look at it there. Two G six. Is it ending with eleven eleven forty six? Yeah. Good. 46, yeah. So you must compare whatever you read it here. Compare it with the car, so you don't end up programming different. <laughs> yeah. So now this car here, it have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Let me go more. 19. 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 20. 29, 30 computers in this car. Wow. Transmission control module, climatic, suspension, side object sensor. Like when you drive in the highway yeah. and you move from lane to lane, yeah. it will alert you. Also, it has it. And uh, keyless entry module, media display, parking assist, parking brake control module. Even the parking brake, it have a computer that is show how it works. So, and that's so now what we need to do. Huh? This is a this is a driving computer, yeah. essentially. <laughs> yeah. Now this is a laptop. This is a big computer on wheels. So yeah. Don't, don't go with it in the water. 
everything will shut down. Be careful. People say, oh, I want to watch the car inside, outside. You put water, you show out everything. No, not for those cars. This is a laptop. <laughs> That's Only a fact. on wheels, yeah. Now, what we need to do here, we're going to choose the computer we need to program. We need to program, they call it P as in Kira 16, which is a plus. So I'm going to click, okay. I don't know if they're going to ask me to put some mileage or anything in this car. Programming, because it has like three things. Uh, programming, setup and configuration, and USB file transfer. So I have only uh, programming. So I will go inside and say next. I'm going to wait for you. I don't know why. I'm going to wait a little bit for programming. After. I have a good internet. Stop you, right? You can stop it? You can pause it? Yeah.